In a matter of a couple of seasons, Jimmy Butler has found himself being traded three times. Butler's time with the Bulls was coming short due to the Bulls wanting to rebuild. His time with the Timberwolves was just... ...report on what happened there, that you were loud, emotional, passionate, we like to say, um, targeting coach Tom Thibodeau, teammates like Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, that you told GM Scott Layton, quote, you effing need me. Yeah, let, let, let's just forget about that. And recently his time with the 76ers was just lived too short. Jimmy has now found himself as a Miami Heat. He's going to be the franchise cornerstone and barring any quote unquote Bradley Beal trade, He's going to be the man of Miami. Miami just fits Jimmy. I feel that this is more of his speed and personality, and he is once again going to be the man of a team. The Miami Heat are on the rise, and they have made good decisions this offseason. The Heat management has been busy in the offseason, offloading Hassan Whiteside and Josh Richardson. But Jimmy Butler is basically walking in on an incomplete team. I'm hoping they find a way to trade for Beal because if they do, the Heat can be a serious threat in the Eastern Conference. With younger talents such as Bam Adebayo and Tyler Hero, the Heat are slowly building pieces together. They look better than they did a year ago to be honest. Quite frankly, I don't know what the hell their team was. The Heat basically treated Josh Richardson like he was going to be the second coming of Michael Jordan. Hassan Whiteside was just a shell of himself. Goran Dragic was unfortunately out the season, and Dion Waiters was completely MIA. They tried out this weird idea with having Justice Winslow as the team's point guard, and I low-key have grown to like the idea for some reason. It, it works. I, I don't know how, but <laughs> it works. The Heat right now is in a good place. But with having Jimmy Butler as your main option, can he lead you to the playoffs and farther than the playoffs, like the second round or conference finals? Butler is your all-star level two-way player. He can score, defend, and the man just plays with some heart that you want on your team. He had grown into becoming the face of the Chicago Bulls and also the Minnesota Timberwolves. With the keys all being given to him in Miami, he can possibly just average around 23 to 25 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. The Miami Heat are going to make the playoffs. Even though the Eastern Conference got a bit tough now, I can see them slide in to possibly 6 to 8 seed. It's just how they're structured right now, and if, if they don't make any moves, then this is where I see them now. Jimmy is only 29 years old, he is in his prime now, he has shown that he is an all-star but not a superstar level guard. He can step it up in the playoffs but he has to show that he is more than just an all-star. He is going to be the leader for this Heat squad and he is going to have to transition his game to be at least a Paul George MVP type caliber player if the Heat is going to make some surprises and just blow expectations in the playoffs. Miami is the type of culture that I can see he just he just will become a prominent figure there. Will he be a D-Wade type of guy where he's all loved there? No, he won't, but he can become something close to that. Miami just needs to retool their roster a bit, bring in one more big time all-star, and they have a chance of becoming a top team in the East. If Tyler Hero becomes a big time player, boy oh boy, and I feel like he will, he's going to be a long time asset for the Miami Heat. Something is stirring up in Miami, and I know Pat Riley for a fact is going to make some more moves. When looking at the Eastern Conference, the Heat should spark some fear into teams. They aren't a pushover of a team, they are up and coming, they're young, they got an all-star in Jimmy Butler now. But the clock is ticking for the Heat to make some big moves this season or even next season. But I just know something is brewing up and it's just a matter of time we see what's really cooking up in Miami.